Yeah, y'all know what time that is. Oh yeah, dropping stuff. I guess I got a little shook up with the sirens and everything. I'm just trying to maintain levels and whatnot. Welcome again to the Game of Fire podcast, episode number three. Well, we talk everything gaming, arts, music, esports, and film. Thank you again for joining us in our second season, season number two, episode number three. Everything's been going well. We've been meeting a lot of people, had some awesome uh, guests. We got another guest in store for you today. And uh, we got a lot of good announcements today as well. So we want to make sure you um, take a listen to that. And we want to thank a few people as well. Um, for being a part of what we're doing and supporting us um, spiritually, physically, and financially <laughs> uh, with everything we're doing here at the Game of Fire podcast and everything else. So, with that being said, I want to start off with the gaming segment. <laughs> It is an awesome way to get started with the gaming segment. Shots out to the Georgia Game Development Association. I was with them um, this past Thursday. We were at Kennesaw State University, and we were actually having a video gaming and esports focused college fair. Um, we got a chance to meet a lot of good students from, let's see if I remember all these high schools. So shout out to um, um, Martin Luther King High School. Shout out to uh, Stevenson High School, Miller Grove High School, that's in DeKalb County. Then um, North Forsyth, Central Forsyth, um, um, Academic uh, Academy. Oh, I can't think of the name of that school. It was cool. It was cool students that I met uh, from there, but we got a chance to talk to the students. We also had some students from West Georgia um, to come down, some college students to find a little bit more about the industry and what's going on. So make sure you check out. Um, we're going to be posting some of that information, some of the video from that. I did a few um, uh, presentations about stuff that we're doing. And a lot of students had a lot of good questions about what's going on in the industry, what's out there for them um, um, to want to go into these different industries and what opportunities exist, which is what our company does, is make sure we connect those young people so they can be the next generation of esports and digital entertainment professionals on that end. But a lot of good questions. I had a lot of graduating seniors, so that allowed us to also talk about um, Morris Brown College is where we're doing a lot of work. We are. Um, this is homecoming coming up, so I'm gonna, when we get back to the esports segment, I'll make sure I shot Morris Brown College out on the, about the homecoming that's coming up, but we're going to hit that. And um, really, really working on getting our game design um, platform up and running. You know, we have our full beta version that's going to hit real soon of Level Up Academy where we teach game design. And so we have uh, some students out of uh, Miami that are going to join us on that journey. We also have our apprenticeship program that gives certification in game design. So as we're talking about this game, we said, I mean, we're going to kind of put a bow around it right there. It's not a whole, whole lot that we have to talk about on this one. Um, I guess just walked in. So you come on, make your way on up here. You know, if you, if you feel comfortable, you, here's your seat, here's your earphones. Um, get you right in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Three on the main board. Appreciate you. And Jay Black trying to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing over here on the ones and twos. You know, I usually just push buttons, but, you know, <laughs> got to have folks like that doing things. So what's up, my brother? What's going on, man? What's going on with you? Go ahead and introduce yourself to the folks. Nice to meet y'all. How y'all doing? I'm Jay Dot Brown. Jay Dot Brown, a.k.a. the Black Boy George. Mr. Kate, me happy I'm in the building, man. Lil Blue here with me, too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do that again because I actually I think it's number four that you're in. Yeah, you're in number four. Number four. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can four. hear that. There we go. There we go. Yes. Okay, you can look into the camera as you go. These two, right? See, they, okay. they, they get us right, right? They get us right. Sometimes I forget <laughs> myself. <laughs>
and that is Kimiko with Atlanta Game of Life back here. The uh, one and only. Uh, uh, <laughs> bossing us around up here to make sure we do what we do. But here we go again. Go ahead and introduce yourself again to the people. So what's happening with y'all, man? It's the one and only J. Brown, J. Brown, a.k.a. the black boy George. Mr. Kate Me Happy himself, a man of many names, you know what I'm saying? Then I also got Lil Blue, Lil Blue in the building too, you know what I'm saying? We just got up and- Is that a Care Bear? Original. Is that an original Care an Bear? original. Care hey. Bear Stare. Y'all yes. don't know nothing about the Care Bears, the man. Original. They don't know nothing about the Care Bears, <laughs> For man. real. Man, I was like, I remember Care Bears, and it was followed up with My Little Pony. They was all on the same. It was a cartoon that came back to back Saturday morning. Yes. Cartoons. Yes. That was what's up, man. They had it, they had it on the lot. They had it on the lot, man. That's what I'm talking about. I'm mad. I'm jealous a little bit, you know. You got mine. I ain't got no Care Bear. What's but going on? I heard you do some cake. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, all right, that's the game segment, y'all. We're just going to keep this thing moving. I don't even have my, my lid here, but we're going to get in the art segment because this is an artsy guy right here, mm -hmm. and we're going to really talk about some stuff. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh. Hello, hello, everybody. Game of Five podcast where we talk everything gaming, arts, music, esports, and film. Now we're here with uh, J. Dot Brown yes, sir. in the house. And yes, we're going to do, talk a little bit of arts because this is a very artistic cat right here. And uh, we're going to find out what he's been working on and what he's got going on. And um, just like with everybody else, we're going to start with the number one question that I have for everybody because everybody has a good answer to this question. Okay. So, Jay. Yes. When did you first fall in love with video games? Ooh, um, when I was a kid, because we had the um, original, uh, we had the original Nintendos and Segas when I was growing up. So you know, uh, we had Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Sonic the Hedgehog. Like we had, we had a lot of real great games. What was the game with the guy where you, um, where you had to shoot and you had the little gun, which the orange gun? Oh, um, uh, with Nintendo on, on Nintendo? Nintendo on Nintendo. Uh, yeah. What duck? Hunt? Duck Hunt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah. That's I, one of my I, favorite ones right there. I went and bought a cartridge for crip, uh, for Christmas. They were selling them for Christmas. So I went and got one. It had oh, all man. the games on them. Oh, that's what you got to yeah. do, man. They start, they doing a lot of those retros, man. You know, <laughs> go back and get a chance to play those joints from back in the day, man. And that's how you got to do. So that's what's up. So I was a Sega guy. Um, my Sega. best friend had Nintendo. So, you know, we kind of went Kombat. back and forth. Mortal Kombat, uh, Contra. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was one of my games I used to love to play on Sega. I, used, I mean, Nintendo, I used to love to play Contra up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, start for Unlimited Life. That was the that was the hack cheat code to get that. I still remember this to the day. 30 years later. I, <laughs> you still remember the, button, the buttons to press. That, that, hey, that was it. Because I need, I had to, man, you know how much time I had to spend because you only had like a few seconds from when you turned it on and before the uh, main screen booted the up, come up, yeah, you had to push that in and then um, <laughs> get started there and, and talk about it. But that's how we used to hack that thing in there. So, uh, Chemical was telling me that you, you, you do cakes. Yeah, so I do cakes as well. So I'm Mr. Cake Me Happy. Okay, well, Cake Me Happy, tell me, tell me where, where did that start? How did, how did that come about? Um, honestly, it started in 2019. Been rocking since August 31st, 2019. Um, that le that led into um, September fourth Labor Day weekend. Okay. Um, had an old business partner, me and Smitty, and we got out to Centennial Park, made our first hundred dollars off of that pound cake, okay. that Mama Ginger's pound cake, and okay. um, and been rocking ever since. That was the start of my business, Mama. Oh Ginger. man, oh man. So what 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 was it that that got y'all out out there to Centennial Park to make you really want to get started? Because that that's one thing that I know a lot of folks when they have an idea about something they want to work on. It's getting over the hump and just getting out there is um is, is always something that you know is like a problem or is a challenge. So for you, how did you get over that challenge and get yourselves out there? Um, well, I come from a life of of selling drugs, stealing, boosting a lot of different street things to be able to make quick money. You know, I do have a culinary background um and culinary arts that I graduated with, but even with that, um, and working some of the finest restaurants here in Georgia, all around. I'm from Savannah, Georgia originally. I always um I always managed to get out in the streets on the corners and, and like to interact with the people. It wasn't about selling drugs or or selling um whatever it is that I was trying to hustle. It was about the interaction with the people and being able to make me known. Okay. So, so I feel um, you. supply and demand, you know. Hey. Yeah. They got a supply, gotta meet that demand. That's how you that's how you do it. I don't care what what, what you selling out there, you know, that's the economics one oh one. 
supply right and demand. But I'm glad you started, you know, got the sugar. You started to push the sugar. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Stuff, we had to know? go to prison a few times. So hey. a few different trials and tribulations, you know, bumped my head. And then, in like I said, in 2019, um, was walking down the street. Actually, over in the same areas, Edgewood, Auburn. I was big for doing other stuff back in the day. And was walking in that area. And, you know, asked God, like, yo, I need something to get back out here legally. You know, right, um, right. And then I swear, within a few days, you know, the case came about. You know, and Man. I, y'all see me out here again. And, and that's all. Like, <laughs> once you get that idea, once you get that clarity, once you get that call, when God put it on you, you got to figure out how to get out there and do it. Yeah. Um, I feel you on that. And, and we all make mistakes. You know, um, I waited till my mama tell you, I waited till college to really get in trouble with the law. And, you know, I felt like I had a good business. Oh, what you did? What you did? Man, okay. So we were boosting. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was uh, I was a student at Tuskegee <laughs> University, and uh, you know, and I, I had a little partial scholarship, and you know, um, you know, I didn't need anything, but you know, we wanted to party, yep. you know, what I'm saying we wanted to have a good time, and so I was like, well, I uh, got my got my one of my good friends, and we were like, hey, you know, what I'm saying if we get this merchandise and we push it, then we ain't got you know we can pay our uh, rent, you know, we can pay our our car notes, <laughs> gas, and all that. And whatever little monies we had, we just put it in our pocket. So um, we decided to do that for a while. And, you know, we were taking turns um, doing what we needed to do. And I tell you, the thing that got me, it, I said it was going to be my. And we actually had a, a good friend of ours who was in law enforcement. And uh, he had, he kind of heard we were actually making a little bit of a buzz. Yes. And he was like, hey, man, um, you know, <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all might want to stop what y'all doing. <laughs> and, and, and doing, I said, and I was like, you know what? Cool. One more time. And there was that time. One more, one time. more time. And that one more time got me. One, it, plenty of times you get away a lot of time. People don't understand when you go to prison and jail, you done beat you be done got away with the crime so many times. So Hundreds many times. of times before you get caught up. A person look at your background and be like, Oh, you're not a great you wasn't a great a, 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 a great illegal person, whatever you call it. Nah, dog, you don't know about all those times I got away <laughs> in between. I was being too greedy. You know what I'm saying? That's it. It's that greed. <laughs> that greed gets you. And then at that point I was like, Look, man, I gotta I gotta figure out something that I can I can do legally. Liz. Um and, and, and let me push that. Let me let me um you know interact with people that way and that and and that could not only is that going to help me, that's going to help my family, and it's going to keep me out of trouble. But then, you know, blessing is I went through that. Now I can talk to young folks who are also coming to those decisions. So yeah. when I started teaching, you know, I was able to have that uh, those conversations with my students. Yes. So you know, make bad decisions, and you know, sometimes you know, but for the grace of God, you might have got caught up and you know, really went you know the wrong way or whatnot or, or something really really you got locked under the jail and this yes. I was in Alabama so I don't know <laughs> how I made it up out of Alabama um but you know I did enough good in my life that I guess you know it, God it, gave it, you some you grace. Know, gave me some grace and and got me up out that thing but I tell the students again look you you got one you got you always got a choice you always got a choice you can either do the right thing or the wrong thing um but I the more you do right the more the more opportunity you got things to go your way. Even if you do right, there might be some bad things because they also hit me with that. Well, you know, uh, bad things happen to good people all the time. It's like, yeah, but if you're on the right side of things more often than not, then, you know, good things will happen for you. And, you know, a lot of people, um, you know, always say it's so easy to do, um, so easy to do the bad thing. But honestly, you know, from a guy, coming from a guy who a lot of years background is certified, a lot of years of doing a lot of <laughs> dumb shit. You know, once I began to start do the things the right way and pray on it more and really, really, really meditate and stuff, you know, like now I do things the right way. And when it's something bad or negative that come out, like if I'm in the store, like, I'm, you know, I'm honest, you know what I'm saying? I'll be honest. I'm at Walmart on Old National. They'll let you know. I walk through the, I walk through the line with the people because I always tell them, like, look, bitch, my brain is quick to steal something, you know, or think about it. So, you know, I'm going to walk through this line and I'm going to let you ring me up, you know what I'm saying? So that if I can make sure I don't do anything, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you, you, you monitor yourself and you begin to say, well, I don't want... I don't want to be punished or, or be held accountable for something stupid. You could lose it all over something real small. Oh, yeah. So you, you got to monitor yourself more. And it's, to me, that's easier. And see, now I'm married and I got a family. And so it's not just me. See, it used to be just me. And so, you know, whatever happened, it yeah. was just on me. But it's not that way no more. You I got, got big responsibility. responsibility. Right. So I can't let that go. And, you know, you got to be. But it is easy. I'm going to tell you, sometimes I do the same. I be at the Walmart. <laughs> and that line, y'all know, be easier. That line be long. <laughs> that be the longest line ever at Walmart. I was like, look, 
man. I can go. I can shuffle a little bit right here, and then I can keep going, and I'm out. And what, out. what are they gonna do? I'm out. I'm, I'm out. out. I'm and out. nine times out of ten, you normally be out of Walmart. Walmart catch one percent every day. Like I mean, come on, now. Part of come 1%. on. They got they got a whole lot they're looking at, but I'm like, <sighs> you know, but make that decision to do the right thing. And it's like okay, I can go ahead and cause cause I'm I, I got out of that. I, I don't do that no more. I can't do that anymore. Nah, mind. ain't even worth it. And I, and my daughter is kind of paying me back. She got that mind, that same kind of mind that I had, where either she can use her powers for good or for evil. That power. So so, so I'm just like I'm trying to make sure she use her powers for good and not evil, cause she she she. Ooh. Cause that, the eyes move fast. They do. So while y'all over here looking at other stuff and paying attention, man, be done got that and moved on. Especially at the police in the building, that's always the best time because you can <laughs> always get away with anything when the police right in front of your face. Because they they're not going to think that you're going to try anything in front of them. You know what I'm saying? So that's always the sweetest time. So this is not this is not class. This is not class, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we just going down memory lane of you know just how our mind was thinking. But but this is but this is why I do what I do. This is why I make sure I talk about the digital entertainment industry and the, and the career opportunities that are out there because that same amount of <laughs> of skill that it takes to yes. do things that are illegal and things that are not right, you can apply those same things and you can get you can get paid really really well. And then you don't have to look over your shoulder. Yes. You know, because that's the other thing that you have to think about when you're committing um, crimes or when you're doing things that are not honest. You always got to look over your shoulder yes. or you got to make up that next lie to cover up the next lie. And you, we don't want you to get in there. But, you know, we got these cakes. So what kind of cakes you making? Let me, we, we're bearing the lead here. Let's talk about these cakes because I like cake. Y'all see this belly. <laughs> I like some cake now. So we got this this Mama Ginger pound so cake. So Mama Ginger's was the start of the business. Okay. Um, Mama Ginger's pound cake. My mom's raised me on pound cake. So um, I always told myself in prison when I got myself settled and got into my first apartment, you know, that I was going to um, that I was going to make a pound cake, enhance the ingredients and see what it come out like. So I had a partner with me at the time. He came to the house. He tasted it. And um, and we like I said, we went out in the streets and sold it. And then from there came Smitty Sugar Cookie Brownie, which is famous. And then um, now we have the Bloody Mary Strawberry made with some fresh strawberries topped off with a good strawberry glaze. We have the Foxy Brown Carrot Cake, which is really rich and delicious. It's cinnamony, one of my fall treats. All we right. have the Sweet Potato Pound Cake, um, something that just came. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet Potato Pound Cake. Yes, that comes out next month. So that's a fall treat. So that'll oh. be out come November. I'm getting people prepared for Thanksgiving. Oh um, man! But right now, what we do have, we have the sweet potato as well as the um, we have the sweet potato brownie, and then we have the remix, which is the sweet potato brownie with the pumpkin cookies inside of it. That's called the remix. Oh, my God! <laughs> and we're actually calling it the Frederick Douglass. Hey, so they do have names <laughs> for them. So that's Frederick actually called the Frederick Douglass. Oh man! That's <laughs> Set them free. Set them free like the MLK <laughs> versus Malcolm X. We got the MLK versus Malcolm X um, double chocolate, German chocolate. We have oh the, um, the Harriet Tubman freedom cake. She going to have your ass thinking you running towards the underground railroads, but you're going to still be shackled wait, up in okay. place. And you didn't bring none of that here? <laughs> I just got out the bed from oh, somewhere okay. else. Well, you know, got, I okay. ain't even been home yet. Yeah, look, look, look. look. We're going to have to have a part two to this here because we're going to have to have a sample of these cakes right here because you're killing me because you're making me super, super duper hungry. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking about these cakes, especially pound cakes. My my grandma made a lemon um, glazed um, pound cake. Mm -hmm. um, that was, and nobody has been able to duplicate that. Um, even though they know the recipe, it was just something that love that she because it's that love that get put into that. And cake. and I, you know, I always had a memory. But my other grandmother, she made straight pound cakes, and you know, it, it's with the crust bottom. Crust bottom, come on. People don't Sarah Lee. You're not real. See, they need to put you out of business. Kroger, Publix. You got to do it right. It. And then it's I, in, I the, in the in the in the uh, she got her little tin. She would turn. It, I mean, she just no white lilies. We don't use nah, no white lily nah. over here. If it ain't swans down, <laughs> we ain't rocking with it. And I'm saying that, letting y'all know, because I know people who use white lilies. It's not good, and the aftertaste behind it. I don't know what y'all like, but see I'm, now this I'm, is I'm, a, I'm just this is a chef pastry chef yes extraordinaire telling you the true ingredients what y'all need to be using when y'all yes. out there baking y'all cooking especially when y'all playing games and stuff you know we like real those, cream we like, cheese we like those cream cheese oh my yes, god yes come on man you gotta have it in there because if it's not it, it, it it's not a pound cake and people always be like they don't like cream cheese but you go through my instagram i'd be lying to me half the time i'd be like well it's, it's vanilla icing for y'all and then after they taste it, then I go back and be like, it's cream cheese. Well, I didn't like cream. I know you didn't, but, but guess you, what? you think of it differently. But guess yeah, what? Yeah, give things a try. And that's it. And so it. so you got your treat. So you have, um, so I heard you a fall set of treats. So do you have like winter and then your spring? And, then and also for like the fall when the fall kicks in, I will do other things as the, as the season kicks in because you're always inspired um, by what's going on to create. 
So you know that's how that's kind of how like the um sweet potato um the sweet potato pound cake came about and everything mm-hmm. else starting to use the different the different things that we enjoy during those seasons inside of the cake. So so yeah, so um, exactly. So you don't. It's no telling what's gonna be coming about for this holiday season because I'm always in inspiration mode. I always in the lab cooking it up. So hey, make it happen. Make it do what it do, man. Because I mean. Yeah, cakes, cakes, and more cakes. Cakes and pies, cakes and pies. Yes. I love it. I love it. Um, man, you said something earlier. Um, it made me think of, oh, so, you know, there's a, there's a show I like to watch um, on the cooking channel. And they do, you know, Cake Wars. They're pretty good. Mm-hmm. But uh, Nailed It. Have I'm you ever seen it? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Nailed It is a show where they bake whatever. <laughs> and it's, you know, cakes with designs and whatnot. And they show you what they were supposed to be. And then you go for it. And then when it comes out, they be like, they yell, nailed it. And it's never like what you saw on there. <laughs> but, you know, it's all, but, you know, they always tell them it's about the taste and whether or not you actually made the cake correctly. You know, you, you lose out because you, it's underdone. It's still wet and it's soggy. It didn't uh-huh. ever, you know, because, you know, the time gets to them and the pressure on yeah. the time, they don't cook it right. So they're not quite ready. But that's a cool show. Um, that I saw. I love to watch those space shows. That's the kind of reality TV I like to watch. You know, a lot of people keep telling me to check out something else, like a messy cake show. Um, because I'm not, I'm not as advanced yet, where I'm doing a lot of big decorative cakes and okay. wedding cakes. So everything is still kind of homemade. So you know, um, but I always tell people it's about the taste. Like to me, the homemade cake tastes better. I don't like a lot of um, fond, 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 yeah, fond, fond, it, fond it, fond it. <coughs> f- fond it. The, yeah, that's it. Fond I've, it. I've tried that plenty of times. It's nasty. I don't know what it, it doesn't work well in the kitchen. It, just, it doesn't it make, make things it, pretty. It make it pretty, yeah. That's but it. It the, make it look the, good. The taste of it and flavor is is not really good. Nah, just give me a good mm-hmm. old regular old pound cake. You know what I'm saying? And give me some real cream. Strawberries, yeah, you know, little yeah. Toppings. I don't need a whole lot. Oh, just give me a good old scoop of ice cream. Or some butter butter pecan ice cream from Hagen Dolls. Call it a day. We, we are best Call friends. Call it a day. We are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Call it a day. Well, let's move on. We're gonna move on to our music segment. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, wait. He is a oh. Uh, yeah, see, there's many but, things going on. Well, hold on, see, you don't going, even know. I'm going to the music. I'm about to go to the music segment right now. So let's get into this music segment. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah. Give me the Hey man, I mean, you know, this you, you wish you can. Like, I wish I could sing, I wish I could rap, man. You know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, I'd be feeling it, but that's I not what's coming out. I'm still trying to learn how to sing. I'd be like, <laughs> make the vocals sound like Kanye was a little bit. Hey, hey, auto tunes, that's what it's for. Yeah, that's what it's for. That's what... Hey, y'all, welcome to Game of Five Podcast, the music segment where we talk everything Game of Five, gaming, arts, music, esports, and film. We're about to get into music so with J. Dot Brown up here, and we got Blue in the house as well. Making it do what it do. So we talked about the cakes. We talked about having fun. We talked about our journey and how we got here. Now let's get a little bit into this music. Let's talk about music. Uh, this is the fade out. You see, you see the pro fade out. A little fade out. A little fade out. A little fade out. Are oh, you working in the studio now? You yeah, yeah. The studio now. Hey man, I, I make it do what it do, man. Make it do what it do. You make them cakes. I make these, I make the board work. That's okay. What, that's how we do. Okay. So let's get music. Music. What's your What's your passions? What What, what is first of all? Let's slide back. Okay. What is your What is your favorite genre of music? Or are you just really eclectic? You like to listen to kind of some of everything. So I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to. I mean, because I'm a rap artist, you know, I will say rap. You know, okay. it's what it's what touches me a lot. You know, um, I like different genres. I love R and B. I love um, I love rock. I love country. You know, it's all about the great song. So you know, you might not even like um, like a certain genre until you hear a song like Avicii when he made um, Wake Me Up. You know, um, that was such a dope song for me to be able to listen to, and it was so inspirational. It was like a dubstep um, type of vibe, but, you know, um, very, yeah, very, yeah, very yeah. nice song. All right, so what got you <laughs> in the hip-hop? What, I mean, what, what really got you? What inspired you? Who's like, who's that <laughs> artist that you listen to that made like, yeah, that's what I want to do? Well, you know, I want to do something different because we do always ask that question. So, you know, I did grow up um, under the 90s in New York, Little Kim, Biggie, Tupac, Jay-Z, okay, and okay. stuff like that. And they were the first people to, you know, make me pick up this pen and keep it pushing, you know. But we do have a lot of new great artists, you know. Um, I think when we do our top five and things, we always give it from what we grew up on. But, you know, um, I just seen that y'all have a post over there um, of Daylight mm-hmm. you know, posted up. And he's one of my, um, I think you have to make a new top five when you get oh, a little yeah. older because it's a you lot of new you artists. You can't stick with it. You can't we can't stick. say Biggie and Pop forever when, when, we, when we're our own walking inspirations and we have new people out here right now. 
So, you know, Daylight Say is that. somebody that's in my new top five. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got to throw Daylight up there. Um, Freddie Gibbs Keep going. Keep is somebody Gibbs. that's hot as hell. Okay. You know, um... Drake, you little you use you you lose a little bit of points because you have writers, but because I'm a business, because I'm a businessman and I'm in the entertainment business myself, I do understand you that understand sometimes it. you get writers blog and we're very busy. I've been out for the past seventy two hours, haven't been home. If you not seen this shirt and these clothes and this jacket, you know what I'm saying, in different shows and episodes, you 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 gonna see it everywhere for the past. But when you working, week. but when you, you working, working, that's what it is. Like, you and know, it's my name on this. I don't care. There you go. And you promoting. <laughs> and see, that's why I'd be telling folks. See, they'll be like. You're not out there. Uh, you, you might be out on shows, but you know, you, you're know you not at this gathering. You're not over here. You're not over there. And I was like, that's, that's because I'm actually doing the work. You know, I, can't, I ain't got time to go out there and shake hands and kiss babies all the mm -mm. time. I got, I'm actually doing the work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it do what it needs to do on that side of things because if I'm not out there doing the work, I can't trust some of the people who are out there doing the work right now because they're yes. not doing it right. Yes. So I got to be on the grind. And then, you know, and hopefully I come across some people who can who can do that part of the, <laughs> the business a little bit better than I can. But I'm starting to get into now. I got my cadence every Sunday. I'm here. I get to talk about what we're doing. I get to meet good folks um, and really inspire some other people. Because I know some of y'all are sitting out there right now. Got some cake ideas, recipes that y'all been sitting on. Some cup. I know a lot of folks that do cupcakes. Cupcakes. Man, that's huge right now. A lot of folks sitting on some music. A lot of folks sitting on some um, entrepreneurship ideas that y'all got right now. Just get up off that couch, get with some other folks, get your get some get some friends, meet some people, build your network, and try to figure out how can get you get started. Get out that dough. You got to. You if got you, to get off your ass. A lot of people like to there. only sit home. Oh, I don't want to go out. Or COVID came around. and Nah, bro. Let me tell you something. If COVID should have taught you anything, it should have taught you that you are your own God and you should be stepping in your own calling. Yeah, we're going to have employees. You have to have employees inside of this world. I need employees for help. But... Create your own and then see what what comes to you as you're creating your own. This is the time to do that right now. Really? This, I mean, this is the moment right now. You got to be bold. You got to walk in it. Put it out there because if you do it now, you'll be surprised at how much support you get from other folks because you're not the only one out there. You're not the only one that's thinking what you're thinking. You're yes. not the only one that's feeling the way you're feeling. At all. And we'll support it's folks out there that will support you, that'll be that'll ride with you and ride with you for as long as you're doing. Um, case in point, um, I just came from McDonald not too long ago. Um, I was I met a friend of mine, um, Josette. She was in one a cohort that I was in, but she's sponsoring one of the events that we have coming up called Gamers Read Point Five K thousand dollar sponsorship. It's our boss boss level sponsorship, and I met to pick up the check from her, and I've been knowing her for about a year now. Yes. But we're both out there. She's doing K through twelve. Uh, well, she's doing mostly elementary, middle school um, education, STEM education. But we out there hustling. We working, 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 and then to be able to meet her and talk about what we're doing we partner with a lot of stuff so things that i'm not good at she's good at things she's not good at i'm good at yeah. so we're able to bounce stuff off each other and we'll be able to control and um um my my group of people come to my thing and then her group of, and then i send them to her and then her group of people come to my thing and we do all of that um this was shoot my computer about to die so i want to make sure out. i give a about to give a, a thank you all to all my people that's been helping us out. So that's Metamorphosis Powerhouse Company. <laughs> um, I met, oh, Tanya Hicks. Oh, my goodness, from uh, Power Solutions. She has really been helping out. She's been um, connecting me with a lot of cool groups. Um, C5 Georgia, um, uh, Tall Beta Kappa. Listen, it's a group of 16 young men killing it right now. They're uh, between the ages of 13 and 15 right now. And they are like little bosses. I mean, they businessmen. They running meetings. Roberts Rules of Order. They um, um fundraising they giving money back they buying tables well, they gamers you know they supporting like people man they doing a lot they getting ready to take on when they, they still in high school so i can't imagine when they get to college and yes. they grow up for real yes. but that's it they got that mindset get active they with them now you know I mean, what i'm saying right get now active with them now you know so um, shots out to uh tell you man uh, and for and i'm working with them as well so um you're gonna you're gonna get a chance i'm gonna have them on the show um have them come by and talk they, it's 16 of them so i might you know we'll we'll have a couple of months we'll bring in each one of them because they're over different committees see they don't even have a uh, power structure so it's not no president no treasurer none of that they are all they just chairman of committees yes and they come back together and report about what the committee is doing and then they make a decision that way then they go back to their committees and work i said god dog no. that's really good i was like, like really, really i went to meet them and they sent out and one of the moms was in there with them and they sent him out and was like tell mr thomas <laughs> that we're going to bring him in in our new bed the new business uh part of the agenda so about 20 more minutes and she was like is that okay Which i was like 
I'm I'm learning. These boys right here are killing it. <laughs> I was just so impressed with them. So I had, I can't do nothing but work with them. But uh, shouts out to them as well yes. and doing our thing. Shouts out to the Atlanta Falcons as well because we'll be there on. Um, I mean, are they going Halloween? Win? Halloween? Are they, they going to be winning? I, I hope so. They Look, they just I'm won. I'm from Georgia. They I'm just so, won. No, I I don't count none of those. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am from Georgia. I don't care about none of their wins. I ain't going to none of their games or anything until they win a Super Bowl. You win a Super Bowl, <laughs> and then I'll be a participant. But until then, you can't you can, wait for I don't care about you gotta, that. Gotta be on the no, I don't care about that. They did that all these other years, bro. I am in my 30s now. They've been doing the same thing since before I was born, I think. So, oh, yeah. you know, so I'm not going to sit there and keep giving my hopes up. Now, win, win something major, the Super Bowl. <laughs> And then I'll participate and come into the games after that. But nah, I'm a dick rider on that moment. You know, I I, 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 ain't, I ain't on your dick until you get it's, on it. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I, I, I ain't putting no hat on or no nothing. Like, gotta wear something. Right now, I go with um 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 Steelers or um. But the Steelers ain't winning that. Well, you know, they um, got a, they got, but they've won. I like them. I'm with you. Um, but I'm I really meant you. to say um um the Saints. The oh, same. Are you with New Orleans? Yeah, I rock with New Orleans. I'm from Savannah, so they got that water in their blood. So you know, so I'm rocking. <laughs> the river, rockin', they got a river walk too. You know, what they saying? got good so seafood I'm, too. I'm rocking. I'm rocking with New Orleans. You know, what okay, I'm saying? Right. They, yeah, they, they my bloodline right now. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> and you know what? That's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I tell I tell people all the time when I was in school. I used to spend a lot of time in Mississippi and 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 Louisiana. Um, over the holidays So you know I got love for New Orleans And um, <laughs> Louisiana too But I don't know I can't say I just run With the Saints like that <laughs> <laughs> They ain't won nothing uh, To me neither But I mean well, they, But they won one But they have won They won one So you know won. You know you gotta Give it to them man They have won So um, what's What's some of your Projects you're working on Right now You got something Coming out so um so actually yes I'm actually leaving for Vegas in a few about to go shoot some videos and work on some more music okay we got the Black Boy George project that's going to be coming out I'm trying to push for the end of this year um it's a mixtape so we're gonna push for that towards the end of this year and then next year crank it to um like the official project of it but we have been pushing the prototype um which is not out I've been kind of just hitting the club scene with the singles testing everything um that turn you out featuring Safanora, one of my favorite tracks on there y'all gonna get to hear that all right forbidden fruit you know um i've been going around to a lot of clubs just kind of hitting them up with the music how they've been, the they, they, they been liking it i think they're very shocked like they're very shocked a lot of people it, mo it most definitely gets the respect that i want but um it does get the shot value because of the content matter of the things that i'm speaking gotcha. about gotcha and you know um like i tell people it's very necessary for me to get this project out the black boy george because it is my life story it is 100% um, honest, and there's a lot of people whose stories don't get to get shared in hip-hop because hip-hop does have a way of where we only shine light on, in particular, on artists things. out of the streets. Yeah, if you're out yeah. of the streets, we only get to shed the artists on the dudes who's talking about dope or, or this, that, and the third, you know, the so-called cool guys. But my movement, Gifted to be Different, isn't about necessarily being the cool guys. It's about being the, the underdogs, which the Falcons, I guess, would be in this sense. But... <laughs> So you might need to sponsor them a little bit. Maybe they get with you. Them. Maybe yeah. they get with you. Then they, you know, they, they turn around and, and maybe they win for 2022 <laughs> because I'm because I'm saying something about them. You know. Hey, well there you go. <laughs> well there you go. Um, but most definitely, so the project, you know, is it, it is about my life. It's about my upbringing, and I'm keeping it um, no filter on it. You know, I'm bringing it, and it's, and it's great music. So you know, it's not just about the content. It's it's fucking really, really, really great, great music. And then we follow up behind that. that. You can't, can't be mad at you know putting being honest genuine authentic um in your in, in what you do and your passions and people enjoy that because you know you talk about covid if you ain't learned nothing then you learn you got to be true you got to yes. be authentic you know what i'm saying about what you're doing and that's what people are going to follow and people are going to gravitate to so man that's awesome so I'm looking forward to it. I want you to put it out there. And, um, oh, it's most definitely coming. Right now, we have Bank Account, the video out. So, Bank Account um, is out right now. We shot that in Vegas a few um, a little while ago as well. That's out right now. I'm pushing that. Um, and just check me out, man. Got a lot of different singles that's coming. Shout out to my boy, Kid Cartel. We just did a new joint for his EP called Rise of the Kid. So, I'm, right. on, the, um, I'm on the title track of the album. And um, that's a really, really dope feature that I'm looking forward to because he's based out of South Africa, Cape Town. Yeah, and, um, yeah, So it's yeah. an international feature. And um, and he really did an amazing job with what he wrote. And then I came in and did mine. And we're really standing on a lot of, um, really standing on a lot of topics, you know. So 
Um, stand behind you. Don't be bullied into anything. Don't no. let them bully you into anything. Don't let this government bully you into anything. Be woke. Be educated. Get educated on everything that's going on around you from elections to vaccinations to just knowing yourself. Trust in it. Pray on it. And if the spirit tell you it's okay, then move forward. If you don't get no answer from the spirit, then that means you might need to wait off until the spirit answers. And that's just being real shit. Boom. Right there, and that ain't, ain't, ain't no better way but to go into the esports like that. Yeah, everybody, 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 thank you again for coming to the Game of Our podcast. We're talking everything game of art, music, esports, and film. Now we're in the esports segment right here. You hear my band in the background. I got my drum majors marching over there. Got my majorettes over here. I got my flag squad over there. They got the boys on the two little horns. They coming in. They doing their thing, man. And this is where I got some good announcements for y'all. So we just laid some good nuggets. So I'm glad y'all joined us on this episode number three. Sitting here with J. Dot Brown making it do what it do. Always, always. So now we're moving into the East I wish you would have played that halftime. Should have played the halftime by all year's wins. Oh, man. Hey, look, I got to pay for that kind of stuff. This, this. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. No, I'll just rest with you. I'll just rest you. Man, but uh, that Falcon Walk halftime, the Yang Yang Twins, here we go. Thank you, man. That's a, man, I was in the March band, and so I knew what that stuff is. Man, again, got J. Dot Brown. We got my boy Blue over here you know i got a frat brother named blue i tell dog uh, we call our bubble but blue over here we got the ig going on i was supposed to be doing stuff like that too but you know i'll be i don't be thinking right maybe i'll start to think about to pull it in but again we're in the esports segment so let's talk about esports and some of the stuff that's going on right now i appreciate you kim yes go in the house kim. shout out to kim go <laughs> atlanta gamer life in the house and so um um something we have going up Are you the CMO being so you done got down with Tim and he done made you the CMO? Yeah. Oh Lord, we gotta talk about that. See, you done got something. When did that happen? Never mind, we're gonna talk about that later. We're gonna be, talk about that later. She stay working on I mean, it, she now she a hard worker. She is a hard worker for real. She, Man. I mean, call me. I'm still in the bed. I'm still in the bed. I'll be in a thought. <laughs> And she's like, where you at? I'm like, I, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, where are you at? And I'm like, well, let me look up your address. Oh, you're, you're four minutes away. Okay, I can get over there. <laughs> for sure, for sure, man. She killing it, she killing it. So like I said, I've been working with Morris Brown, one of the HBCUs, Historical Black College Universities here in Atlanta, on the AEC campus. It's so funny. And we got some cool stuff coming up. Uh, partner with Our Heart uh, Media and uh, McDonald's to do the uh, McDonald's HBCU Esports Showdown mm -hmm. that's going to be happening on October 30th on the campus of Morris Brown College at the Ronald Floyd Thomas Center for Esports and Innovation um, on the campus and we're going to have a lot of fun kind of an open house environment and we're going to have a few little tournaments going on and the next day we'll be going to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the Carolina Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons football game where we'll be on the Sky Bridge. We're going to be playing video games, a little Rocket League. Um, 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 probably going to play some uh, Street Fighter maybe. Might play a little bit of Injustice, but we're going to have a lot of fun. And then at the end of the game, <clears throat> we're actually going to be playing video games. They're going to be able to see the games played on the big screen on the, on the Halo board. Okay. So we'll get a chance to do that. So we'll have some folks joining us to see that and having a lot of fun and we're partnering with Atlanta Falcons um, and the Mercedes-Benz um, Stadium because they have a lot of STEM based programs and have a lot of career paths and opportunities for young people and they want to make sure that the folks from the community you know they are here in in, in Atlanta you got the Vines community Vine City community excuse me um, and and you have Southwest Atlanta right here you have all that West End and so we want to make sure that those folks understand what's happening and what they can plug into because it's a multi-billion dollar stadium yes. but you're down the street right across the street from people with median house household incomes of uh, twenty eight thousand dollars a year that's a big difference there yeah. so we need to make sure they, they want to pour into the community we want to make sure the community is there to receive <clears throat> what they want to pour into the community so that's the cool things that we got going on and like I said next week it's homecoming this week. Today's Sunday. It's top of the week. They're actually doing a jazz concert on the campus. So it's right there. Shout out to Atlanta. Morris Brown College right off of um, Northside MLK. 
right there in that corner, you will see the campus. They got some jazz going on. Um, they're going to have different things throughout the week. Um, of course, raising money for the school. Um, we're about to have uh, the baddest hospitality management major going on because we got a hotel coming uh, and conference center that's going to be built right on the campus. So they'll be doing that. So it's a bunch of cool stuff that's happening right there. And then you got Morehouse right there, Spelman, and you got Clark. They all doing some great things. And so we want to make sure that everybody knows because they also want to get into um, esports as well in gaming. So we're going to start there. And Clark has some stuff going on, and we'll get um, more House and Spellman on board too. And we'll play our tournaments. I bring the Sega out every now and then. Cause yes. Because I, I got to <laughs> let them know old school, let, let them show how we used to do it and how we still doing it right now. So that's pretty fun. But of course, you know, they do their Switches and PlayStations and all that good stuff and Xboxes, but that's okay. They still got to know where where it really came from. With where the it really came from. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. so <laughs> that's what we're doing. That's that's where esports is right now. Um, we're moving on that. We uh, have some teams um, that we're building um, K through 12. So they'll be practicing. We got some kids out of Miami, Florida that started the after school program. So they're going to have their team. Their team's coming up. It's about five different teams all over Miami um, that are building themselves up to compete um, in our in the youth esports league. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So shots out to everybody. So we want to make sure y'all stay plugged in. So please follow us. And um, that's another thing. Where can, they, where can everybody follow you in blue? Oh, J. Dot Brown, man. J D O T B R W N. No O in Brown. J. Dot Brown, you know, or Mr. Kate Me Happy. You know what I'm saying? Lil Blue need his own page because all these females <laughs> that he keep attracting, man, he's starting to heat. Man, uh -oh, I, can't, uh -oh. I can't keep up with him for him, man. I can't keep up with him for him, man. You have to do your own work, bro. Like, man, like, you damn. remember? You, oh, oh, we finna get into the film segment. You know what? We finna transition this on to the film segment. I, I, I got to talk about this movie. I got to talk about this real quick. Oh. Uh, Gaming, arts, music, esports, and now we're transitioning over to the film segment. Here with J. Dot Brown, it's your boy Coach E, and then we got my boy Blue right there on the shoulder. So I was talking about so this movie. So okay, what was it? Ted? Is that the name of the movie? Ted? Yes, Ted. Oh, you remember Ted? So that's what you <laughs> made me think about when you said that. <laughs> Cause Ted was pulling them in that movie. He was pulling them. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, is they different to show this in the movie for real? Ted pulling them like that. Ted pulling them left and right. That's what Lil Blue be doing. Man, Blue be pulling them. I, 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 I can't hang out with y'all. Y'all be done got me in trouble, man. Y'all be done got me in so much doggone trouble out there. <laughs> All right, yeah, man. So we doing this thing here, the Game Five Podcast. Everything gaming, arts, music, esports, and film. We're getting to the film. So speaking of films, what are what are what are some of your favorite movies to watch? And what have you watched lately? Oh, last night. Last night I just watched um Fear Street, 1994. Um, I'm a horror film. That. I'm a horror film fanatic. I love horror films. You know what I'm saying? That is dope on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, you got to go catch that. I'm a, that I'm is a, dope. I'm looking at it tonight. I'm looking at it tonight, man. I've been binging a lot of stuff. Uh, American Gods, uh, I've, I've been binge watching in that right there. And it's, it's a crazy TV series. But um, movies, I don't know. I, I like to watch a lot of the um, Nigerian movies, you know. <laughs> They, the Nollywood is what they call it. Uh, mm. They got a lot of different things. One of my favorite movies is The Wedding. Um, oh, what is it? The Wedding Party? I think that's the name of The Wedding Party, man. It, I've it's, heard that one. It's, it's cool. It's cool. But I like to see what they're doing out there because, you know, most of the images people talk about, they in huts or this, that, and the other. Nah, man. They, mm -mm. they in metropolitan city. They got it going on. Mm -hmm. So I like to see that. I love horror movies, too. They, you know what? They coming out with uh, Halloween Kills. It's like another Michael Myers. Um, mm -hmm. They doing a final Michael Myers for they Halloween. Said fi final like fifteen years ago. I know, but look, Michael Myers <laughs> been there. But what, how you supposed to kill one of them kind of demons? I don't know. Then they got Scream. Um, a new Scream coming out in January. I am looking forward to that. Okay, I'm one of the original Scream lovers. Okay, so, me too. Um, me too. I, and they got another. I, I know what you did last summer. Come That's out. coming out too. I want to see that too. They got, yeah, yeah, I do want to see I that. Saw that. I, I, like, okay, okay. I do want to okay. see that. Okay. So, um, but I grew up. Um, I watch. I love watching a lot of movies. Um. Benjamin Button, you know, that was mm. a real great one. Um, I love A Beautiful Mind. I think that was oh, very, man. very dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm into documentary series and, and things that really open up the brain as well. So on um, The Maturian Candidate, yep. one of my favorite, the one with um, Denzel Washington. Oh, right, right, That's right. That's one of my favorites, the one with Denzel the, Washington. The new one, they remade it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That so that one. one came out like, 2000, like 2008, I want to say, um, but that was really dope. Um, of course, things that make you laugh. You oh, know. yeah, yeah. And I, I'm not a movie snob. 
You know, I I'm, I go to movies to be entertained. I don't go for some some uh, uh, Oscar award winning performance. Mm-hmm. That, I want to be entertained. I don't care who you got in it. I don't care what what you said about it. If I leave out and could have had a V8 afterwards, then that was <laughs> sucked. That was the most horrible thing that you ever put out there. So, I, I you, you know, you got to give me something that's entertaining, something that's worthwhile for me to watch. What's one of the worst movies you ever seen? Worst movies I've ever seen. Man, I I give a chance to a whole lot of movies. I can't think of I because I find something good about everything even though it was horrible. But I, or I just thought, you know what? They so bad on him. I can't, can't even remember, remember it because I'm trying to think of something right now, and I know I had some movies I don't watch to the end. I'd be like, "Well, this movie right here is stupid. Um, <laughs> I can't even understand this. Like, can't get to the end of it." But I made it to the end, and I'd be like, yeah, "I pushed through." Yeah. I try. I don't know the name of this movie. It was a, it was an independent film. Um, my wife and I was watching it the other night, and we we try to we try to support, and we try to sit through the film. And, and really, what was I it? think I'm. I don't know. I don't even know the name of it. I don't. It was. It was. No wait. It was called Love and Fate or Fate and Love Two Law something. I don't know. It was some independent film. We we caught it on like Prime or something or rather, and we tried to make it through. I actually did make it through. She walked out. <laughs> she was like, you know what? If you gonna if you gonna you do gonna this, do yourself. you gonna do it by yourself. So she walked out, and I just watched the rest of it because I really wanted to support my people, just uh, my indie folks, because I love independent Ooh. filmmakers, uh, independent artists, um, everything. It, if you're doing it yourself, that DIY. If you're doing it yourself, I support you because you know where else you got to get started, yeah. right? Yeah. Got to get started somewhere, so I will support them, and then you know maybe I pull them inside. Hey man, that, that got to pull them to the side. Got to hey, let man, you know what you I might think. want to think about doing that a little differently yeah. <laughs> next time. <laughs> but uh, but you know what though, you know what they can say, I did it. Yes, they had they finished a movie yes. project from beginning to end, and they got a credit for it, and whatever whatever else comes with it. Yes, they will always be able to say I made a movie at yes. the end of the day, and then the people who you know critics, yeah. what you do. What did you do? Mm-hmm. What movie you put out? You yeah. know, what project have you been on? Nothing. Yeah. So they 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 um, one up on you in my book. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's real. That's real right there. You know what I'm saying? They put that foot forward, you know what I'm saying, to make it happen. So yeah. Congratulations regardless, even if it's horrible. <laughs> you finished the project. You finished the project. That That is the most important thing. You, you actually finished the project. So that means the next one can be pretty good. I'm telling you, you know, Tyler Perry's first few plays weren't good. I don't know about that. They, no, well, At I least mean, the ones that we saw when we were growing up, the ones that were still in churches, they were entertaining. But the ones that you didn't see. That okay. he put out probably so you, were horrible. So Tyler Perry, you got some things that you might you need to do an unrelease of the things that you <laughs> didn't you didn't th- that people didn't like. Do before Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Or, Let's go before or that. even when he actually did the plays before he was able to bring them to the Fox. So you know he did them in 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 the playhouse somewhere. You know, and they were the first run. So without the good. You know, wardrobe without the good music yeah. and the transition. I want to go see some of those, honestly. I, I mean, bring them back. Bring them back. It's how, you know, it's good to watch stuff like that on film, on, on TV, because COVID is virtual, whatever. But, you know, it's cool to get back out and actually go ahead and watch some folks out there, putting it out there. They're all on the stage. I'm telling you one thing my kids love to watch. What? Uh, Hamilton. Hamilton, real dope. That's um, a lot of inspiration behind even what I'm 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 about to start doing with what I'm doing. Um, mm. That was very it was very inspirational. It won Grammys, Oscars, everything. Man, Hamilton. That was it. Man, that was it. Lin Manuel. Yes. What's his last name? Or is is, is that it? Lin Manuel. Is that his name? So we can make sure we quote that. Uh, I, I want to say that man's name correctly, but he did a writer awesome of job. Hamilton. He did a, he did an awesome job. Miranda, yes, Lin Manuel yes. Miranda, yes. yeah, and I'm, they did a documentary on making of Hamilton. And they talked about that. they talked about how to do it because you know one of my other favorite um, Broadway um, musicals, Rent. I haven't seen that one. Oh, yet. go to Netflix. Go to Netflix oh, wow. and Rent. R E N T. Man, that music in there was powerful. And then I watched the documentary on the making of it, too. I like to watch the behind the, the, behind scenes. the scenes. The yes. making of it because you get to see the struggle. Yes. You get to see that whatever, all the people that said no. Yes. All the people that told them yes. they were crazy. Um, all the things they had to pull from here and there to make it happen. You get to see that. And it's inspirational because it makes me feel like, okay, what I'm doing I'm, I'm, I'm doing it right because I'm struggling a little bit. You know, I'm pulling from here to there. It's not easy. Not everybody's agreeing with what I'm doing, but 
I just did a video um actually speaking on that because I just went to an audition the other day for Morris Brown. And um regardless if you if I if I get the position or why I got it. You know what I'm saying? But Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you, know, you went for an audition, you for a position at Morris Brown? No, not for a position, for audition for a tour coming up. Oh, okay. So um so you know I did I Oh did, I think I know the tour you're talking about. Yes, yeah, so I did my thing, you know what I'm saying? It's it's been big love since. But you know, after I recorded it, um I mean after I went and did the audition, I remember walking out um and doing a little video recording that's on my page right now where i was just telling people you know it don't matter what like how many no's like my motto is i don't care about how many no's i'm always on go you know what i'm saying that's okay. all you can tell me is i'm on I like when i go to these places with these cakes and stuff majority of these places on edgewood and all around here some of them say no some of them be like oh you're patronizing or soliciting and stuff like that mm -hmm. but i don't care I'm going to come there because you don't know where that customer is going to be at or that 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 person that that opportunity, that's going to that opportunity yeah. and lead me somewhere else. And I've been I've I've met so many opportunities going out here and taking a bunch of no's to receive that yes, I got you. Come over here. You know what I'm saying? So stop putting blocks on yourself. Do do what's best for you in this entertainment business out here doing music. This thing ain't easy, y'all. This thing is not easy. If it was easy, here, everybody would do it. It it ain't. Moving to Atlanta was just the first step. You know what I'm saying? It's so many other places you have to go, so many other cities, states, and other places around the world. But you got to get up off of your behind and believe in yourself and put your foot forward and like say, you said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it regardless if it did. It made me feel good today. Regardless if I felt a little embarrassed about this in particular show or, or song or whatever it is that you did. Regardless even if you feel like it wasn't your best. I always put artists to the side and be like, hey, yo, bro. I don't think that was a great song or your performance might have been bad this time. But, you know, I do think you got this right here, though. So, That's it. That's so, it. So, you know, maybe you could capitalize on that part right there. That's Try it. to empower each other and stop being afraid to empower each other. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly it. It's like you said earlier. Just walk out the door. That's it. Get out the door and you're going you're gonna to be around and find your people. Get out the door and go find your people. Yes. You never know where your people are because when you find your people, they're going to pour into you. Like yes. you said, they're going to pull you to the side and be like, hey, you might want to change this up a little bit or hit or to give you an opportunity to say, hey, you know, let's collab on this. Let's work on this together. You, you got to get up and walk out the yes. door. And that's yes. what you got to do. That's what you got to do. And so um, if you continue to do that, You'll be able to make what you do. Tell everybody where they can find you and follow you again. J dot Brown J D O T B R W N S J dot Brown and A K A Mister Cake Me Happy. That's Mister Cake Me Happy, not M I S T E R. Mr. The regular way. I think a lot of people out there are a little slow. <laughs> not cake with the K. A lot of people out there spell it with the K. Now I notice that's not the correct way. I think that the phones got us messed up doing that um that ignorant texting. You know, yeah, yeah. making up new words. Yeah, it's C. A K E, Mr. <laughs> M R, no period, cake me happy. Mr. Cake me happy, man. <laughs> J. Dot Brown and my boy Blue. Shout out to Blue. You know what I'm Shots saying? Shout out to Blue in the Shots house. Shout out to Blue. Thing, man. Rocket since 1987. You know what I'm saying? Was given to me when I came out the womb. I'm proud of my age. A lot of people are like you like you in your 20s. Now nah, I'm 34. I'm proud of it. I love my age. Ain't that good, black you know what I'm crack, saying? Like, I love my age. I love my trials and tribulations and things that I have been through. I have came a long way. I went through a lot of stuff to get here to this moment. And only God knows the future. But I know that bitch is bright. And happy and successful. Hey, y'all just gotta get out the door. And just get out the door. Just get out the door. That's, it. That's, the that's gonna be my takeaway. I'm gonna be saying that for the whole week. Yeah. Just gotta get, just out, get the out the door. door. Get out the door, man. Just get out the door. Everything, man. Y'all, thank y'all so much. You know Shout what time to it is? Oh, yeah, I love her so much for real, for real. Yeah, they yeah. go, they go to uh, Cyrus. Y'all know what that means. We ain't in trouble. All right, again, thank you for joining us for episode number three. Uh, the Game of Five podcast, we talk everything game, art, music, esports, film. I am Coach E. J. Dow, shout out to the house. Our brand. You know what I'm saying? Got to shout out my folks. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Our brand. My boy. What's, what's the name of the brand? What's the name of the brand? Oh, the jacket. Show the jacket. Show oh, the yeah. jacket. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Troy. I got a lot of people who Mr. are working with me. Happy. So, Mr. Kate, me happy. There it is. Sincerely. J. Dot Brown, aka is the Black Boy George. This jacket will be available one day, you know what I'm saying, on eBay to my most biggest fan. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, hey, y'all really ready. Hey, hey, that's how we do it. A million dollars. A million dollars right now. A million dollars right now. A million dollars jacket right now. Right now. And when it, hey, uh, you when it's said, I'm going crazy. <laughs> oh, no, that's prices. Blue is You'll never get to have blue. 
Lewis Price. <laughs> Man, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. Enjoy. <laughs> we'll see y'all again next week. Same time, same station. You know what time it is. Game 5 Podcast. Peace, eight. Yes, Town. <laughs>